Good morning, Sarge. Good morning, LT. How are you? I'm doing good today. How are you? Doing well, thank you. I guess we're, we're going to take you over to uh, get your motorcycles and meet up with some of your other uh, members of the traffic unit. Cool. Sounds good. Good. Sergeant Deer, why don't you tell us about the uh, traffic unit and uh, some of the duties that you and the other members of the traffic unit have. Yes, well we have a wide range of responsibilities in the traffic unit. Our main priority is to enforce and educate the public on traffic laws violations um, and, uh, and really reduce our traffic crash rate the best we can. Tell me what are some of the common violations, uh, traffic violations that might occur that you see most often? Absolutely. The most common one, of course, is speeding. It's um, Another one uh, very common is texting while driving, which which is uh, part of our distracted driving uh, initiative. We're trying to combat that. Now, with, with that, uh, you mentioned distracted driving just now. Can you tell us, uh, the sheriff has a new campaign that, we're, uh, that we launched last week called Just Drive. Can you uh, tell us what that is and what you guys are doing to uh, kick that off? Absolutely. The Just Drive campaign is just like it says, Just Drive. What we're trying to do is educate the public to stop doing all those things in a car that take you away from your main job of driving. So that's eating, putting makeup on, texting while driving, um, playing with the radio, talking to passengers. We want you to get from A to B safely and to do it with your full attention driving. When you do that, all the other stuff like crashes and, and everything else, they, uh, they subside when you pay attention. Okay, great. And uh, now how are we, how is the traffic unit getting their message out to, uh, to people for the distracted driving Just Drive campaign? Our traffic unit started a campaign this week uh, handing out flyers at intersections. We we're going to try to educate them at the time they were committing a violation. So we, we believe that will be a better uh, turnaround. Excellent. How do we try to attempt to reduce the rate of crashes in particular areas? Well, what we like to do. It's a little bit boring, but we get into the statistics of it. We take, we collect stats from all the roadways, major roadways, and intersections, and we find out which ones are the worst uh, crash rates, which are the worst violations, and we like to make uh, flex operations and enforcement plans to uh, direct our attention to those areas in hopes of reducing. You've been a member of the traffic unit. Uh, you've probably had some interesting stories. Uh, can you uh, mention maybe one or two of those stories that uh, that come to light? One of my most favorite things is working with the Card County Honor Flight. Um, our motorcycle unit and our aggressive driving unit, uh, we come out and when the Honor Flight is taking its folks up to D.C., they take veterans up there. All right, and they do a tour of the city, they tour the monuments, and they, uh, they go up there, they come back. We escort them up to the airport, a full police escort, lights and sirens. Wow. When they go up there, when they're coming back, we give them a welcome home that a majority of them never got coming back from war. Uh, and, and so we we give them another police escort back to their destination. When we get down there, we give them a full salute. Why? Because they deserve it. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Is there any particular vehicle that uh, or that, that you like to use for enforcement purposes? We have some pretty cool vehicles in the traffic unit. Uh, we do have our ghost vehicles at nighttime with DOI unit. I do like those. but. I will have to tell you, the motorcycle, my motorcycle is my, my most favorite vehicle. Mm -hmm. And why would that be? Well, the motorcycle is very agile, okay? You can, in, in cases where there's backed up roadways and, and crashes up ahead, we can wiggle our way through traffic, get on sidewalks, and get to the scene very quickly. Uh, shortens the time response time up and our ability to go out there to the uh, possible injury and, and render aid. Uh, but besides all of that, uh, the motorcycle, uh, it has a very high CDI factor. Okay, you're gonna have to tell me what that is. The CDI? Yeah. Oh, chicks dig it. Ah, uh, I understand. I understand. I guess I gotta get one. Yeah. Well, we're here now and uh, want to uh, say thanks and good luck, be safe. LT, thanks again. All right, Sarge, see you later.